Now let's take a look at how the flood system works. How much does a 10 by 10 by 20 of mud weigh? 100 tons. How much does a 10 by 10 by 20 3 8 steel box weigh? 6 tons. Which one will sink first, the mud or the steel box? The mud will sink first. Why? Because it's heavier. That's 100 tons of mud and that's 6 tons of steel box. Now the pouring of mud into a cuba section in or above the water. This system can be put in the water and on top of regular land to form your levee system. Mud is heavier than water. Mud sinks to the bottom causing the water to rise up and out of the section. Mud will come out of the bottom of the cube or the section and make its own supported shoe. Mud does not stick to steel. Mud clings to steel. When there is a movement, mud will sh be shaken loose and slide downward. The earth is constantly moving and when being hit by surges, the movement of the cube of the section will cause the mud on the inside to shake loose and slide downward, causing a constant downward pressure. Remember, there is no bottom. Now you know why. Then the erosion starts to erode the bottom of the section, as known as the liquefied zone. Now what? Mud weight and downward pressure will begin to slide down inside of the section, replacing the eroded shoe or the liquefied zone and bringing back its original state. By noticing the lower elevation of mud on top of the levee, you will know exactly where the erosion is occurring. And more important, being corrected as the liquefied zone. You can keep track of what's going on on the bottom by watching the top of the levee. Simply add more mud to bring back the same elevation as the rest of the levee. That's your 100 tons of mud being pushed downward, that's your six tons of steel box. Now you can uh, add pipes for stability and strength to make it even stronger. Now that's my system.